name's Peter Strong. I am currently co-owner of Racing Magpie here in Rapid City, South Dakota. At some point I realized that there was this need to support artists and native artists here in Rapid City and I was really inspired by what I was seeing in native communities around the country. But I kept waiting for someone to do that here and they weren't. So I, um, my wife and I took the leap and we, we founded the space. The core of it is to have a space in downtown Rapid City that Native people feel comfortable going and being a part of. Um, that they feel like when they come here, it's theirs. And that they can be here, they can be themselves, they don't have to be, um, they can let their guard down. We made a conscious effort to combine Native and non-Native artists in the studios. It's, it's that idea that art is art. But generally in this area, it's usually there's art and then there's the native artists over here doing the long hair feathers and sunsets. And they get added whenever they, whenever it's convenient. But we wanted this to be about art and have everyone's voices be in the, in the mix. There's a need to get out and actually talk to people in our community and, and find out what they would like, what they want when it comes to the arts and culture. So my thought was, you know, how does that then grow? How do we take that information and turn it into some sort of a program where we take this amazing pool of artists that we have and this need in the community and maybe find funds to get those artists into the community, you know, and do these cultural arts projects. art that is not just for commercial purposes that can start a conversation um, and I because I think art is the place where you can have hard conversations where you can talk about different political views different socioeconomic status you know um, and so I just the gallery is to be able to do that to produce that kind of art and to work with artists to produce that kind of art. Peter and Mary they were starting Racing Magpie Mass if I wanted to be um, part of or be part of it and have a studio space here. So a lot of the work that has come out of me the last three years has been attributed to my studio space here at Racing Magpie. The quality of artists in here is exceptional um, and it puts me in contact with Native American artists um, and, and I just wanted to be part of that. And it's, and it's given me some great insight into both my art and to people. I trust them and what they're going to do, what they're trying to, and their vision is really cool. So I wanted to help support that. And uh, when uh, I, he said, do you think you might want to, you know, a space down here? And I, oh yeah, for sure, you know. We, we created these spaces for artists but then we also leave it completely open, almost as a blank canvas to their space. They're, they can modify it however they want. They can chip in and help us with all the common spaces. Like how do we make that more functional or how do we, um, what can we do to make it better for more artists to come in and utilize the space? I feel like this last two years, we've been so focused on like the physicalness, the physical nature of the space. like making it comfortable, building walls, and um, trying to get art in the gallery, um, that we are kind of getting lost in what it is that we're doing. Where it is right now is to look at strengthening Racing Magpie as, a, as an organization, and then um, probably looking at getting out and providing consulting or, or support to other projects at, within Native communities and possibly other South Dakota communities as well and help them think about cultural spaces like this where you can really create customized space to your town or your yeah. neighborhood or your reservation like that really meets your needs. It's given me 
a little bit more depth in my belief that the art community in Rapid City is very vibrant and very much alive. I'm really optimistic and excited to see how this all comes together and um, how we can build on this opportunity that we have to really strengthen who we are and what we do and expand the circle of people that we really, that we're trying to continue to engage in what we do here at, at Racing Magpie. I think the more we opened our minds up, uh, the better we could do, the more strength we could have together, you know, you know, no matter what kind of small or large community you're from. Uh, once we have something that, that we have a foundation of sh sharing that same value. Sometimes I have a hard time stepping back and seeing what we've done in the last two years because I'm, I'm, I'm really bogged down in all the work that we want to do, all the goals we've set for ourselves. Um, but really looking back and understanding that our studios are full, that, that we have Native and non-Native artists, learning from each other, teaching each other, um, and that that's how community change starts, is it starts, you get 10 people starting to think differently and then they influence a few more people and that that keeps growing. That's really rewarding in a lot of different ways and we still have a long way to go, but I think this is the beginning of it. <laughs>